Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today, I wanted to talk about setting up a ShadowSock instance on Linode's cloud. ShadowSocks is a lightweight SOX5 web proxy tool. In order to get fully set up, you're gonna need a Linode server running the ShadowSocks daemon, as well as a client uh, application running on a PC, Mac, Linux, or mobile device. Unlike other proxy software like a VPN, ShadowSox traffic is designed to be both indiscernible from other traffic to third-party monitoring tools and also able to disguise itself as normal direct connections. And data passing through ShadowSox is encrypted for additional uh, privacy and security. Uh, let's do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to sign into the Linode Cloud Dashboard. If you don't have an account already, you can check the description. There'll be a link that'll get you some free credit to get you started. Once you've signed into the dashboard, you're going to go down here to Marketplace, and we're going to scroll down to uh, Shadow Sock. And once we've found it, we're going to continue to scroll down, and we're just going to create a password here. And uh, Debian 9 is fine. We're going to pick a uh, pick a region that's close to us because this is going to be forwarding network traffic back to us and we want it to be as fast as possible. Uh, we're going to just pick a 2 gigabyte Linode to get started here. And then we're going to continue to scroll down. We're going to add a root password for this Linode. And we should be good to go. Let's hit create. Now this will take a few minutes to provision our Linode and get the app set up, but we'll jump ahead to when it's actually done. So while we wait for this to provision, we're actually gonna set up a uh, ShadowSock proxy client on our machine here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if we go back to Marketplace and we select our, um, our ShadowSocks here, we're gonna click on the little eye icon and we're gonna select uh, ShadowSock for whatever platform you're gonna be using it on. I'm booted into Windows right now, so I'm going to click Shadow Sock for Windows. Now over here on the right, it's where it says releases. We're going to click on 4.4.0.0 and we're going to click uh, download the uh, zip file. I'm going to save that. And it looks like it's done downloading. So let's go ahead and open that up. Let's go ahead and run this file right out of the zip file. Why not? Now, Windows Defender is going to say this is a bad news. Uh, I'm just going to run it anyway. <laughs> and we're going to select our server IP address. And this is going to be what we have uh, back in our Linode dashboard. So let's go back to Linode's, select Shadow Socks, and click our IP address. And we'll tab back in here. And uh, I believe the port number is going to be 8. 388. So we'll leave that the way it is. We're going to put in our password here. Um, we're going to choose AES256 and we should be good to go. Let's apply that. And there we go. So if I switch over to my main screen, you can see down here uh, that we actually have Shadow Socks running. And if we right click and hit System Proxy and hit Global, then if we switch back to my other uh, display, uh, so I'm going to do one of these bad boys. What's my IP address? Oh, secure connection failed. And there we go. So the problem was that I was not using the right port. Eight, port 8000 is the one that you want to be using uh, for, for, with the default settings. Uh, so there we go. But you can see now that it says that I'm in Newark, New Jersey. Now, you might be saying, well, how is this any different from a VPN? Well, a VPN typically uh, is going to have quite distinct uh, characteristics when it comes in as a request over, a, you know, another network. So if you're using a VPN to like access, let's say, some kind of website, well, then the website is going to know, hey, this is like, you know, VPN traffic and it can discriminate against you for having VPN traffic. But with Shadow Socks, uh, one of the nice things is that this is virtually indistinguishable from regular network traffic. And because of that, most systems are just not going to be able to detect that you're using a, a, a proxy rather than a VPN service. And this affords you with a little bit more control, a little bit more nuance, a little bit more uh, anonymity on the internet. And you're hosting it yourself and you know that you can trust yourself. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out here on the Linode YouTube channel. Um, but no matter what you do, 
I hope you have an enjoyable day and I'll see you guys in the next one.